I am on Amazon. I'm looking for the Roxanne dress by Vicky Souls, and I have not been able to find it. I recently learned that Vicky Souls printed patterns, some of them are sold on Amazon. So I was like, oh, let me hurry up and look and see if they have the Roxanne dress. And I have gone through here about two or three times and I don't see the Roxanne dress anywhere. It is sold on the Vicky Souls website and also on Etsy. However, I only see it being sold in PDF form and I'd much rather have the printed version. So what I'm thinking that I'm going to do is see if I can try to recreate the dress using a McCall's pattern. I am on VickySews.com and this is the Roxanne dress. I think it is so cute. This is the front and the back view. It has a back center seam and then it also comes in a bodysuit. And then you have like a collar up around the neck area. And then it looks like there is a split in the sleeves. And this says it's a pattern hack. And back to the dress. This is the front pattern piece of the dress that I want to use. From the center front, I want to make a line and curve that line over to the side of the dress. And then I'm going to move down just a little bit and then make another line and curve it out to the other side of the dress. I will separate these pieces. So this will be one piece, this will be another, and this will be another. And then I will make sure I put the wrong side of the fabric pieces together. And then I will stitch these pieces back together using my serger. The pattern I'll be using is McCall's 8058 and I'm going to be cutting out view B and this pattern is also the same as McCall's 6886. I have some tracing paper folded in half. This is the front pattern piece and it has a center front on fold marking here. So I'm going to place this on the fold and then I'm going to cut around it. And once I cut all around this pattern piece, then I will have one whole front piece and then I can go in and draw my style lines and cut them out. I plan to lengthen this dress just because I really like long dresses. And the fabric that I purchased is from Joanne Fabrics. It's a black knit fabric. And I think that this should be really easy to make. So I am looking forward to getting to the sewing part. Now that I have the front piece cut out, I decided where I wanted the side style line to end. So I measured from my shoulder down and for me, I just decided 16 inches would be okay. So I made a mark there and then I went down about an inch more and made another mark. So I'm going to draw a line from this mark up to the center front line. I'm gonna curve it around and then from this inch over mark I'm gonna draw a line from here and curve it around over to this edge if you want a neckline that's similar to the one on the Vicky Souls dress you can actually just extend the center front and then come over and blend it back down into the shoulder area I'm okay with a scoop neck, so I'm going to actually go ahead and remove this. I have my lines drawn in pencil, so it may be hard to see, but I'm going to cut from here down and curve over to the side, and then I'm going from this line, and I'm going to curve over and separate the pieces. Once I separate the pieces, I will add seam allowance to each cut edge. And then I'm also going to add some notches so I'll know which pieces go to which pieces. 
I added seam allowance to all of the pieces that will be sewn back to each other. So here, here, and here, and here, I added seam allowance. Now for the back piece, it is supposed to be cut on the fold. Since I want a center seam down the back, I'm going to cut two pieces instead of cutting out on the fold. So I put chalk marks on the wrong side of the fabric. This is the sleeve, but just to demonstrate, I have chalk here, so this is the wrong side, and this is the wrong side of the other sleeve. This is the back piece, just so I can show you. So the wrong side is on the inside with the chalk marks. Typically, when sewing, you want your right sides together. So that's what you have here. The right side is together on the inside. These two inside pieces are the right sides. Right side, right side together. In this case, since I want exposed seams, I'm going to sew the seams with the wrong sides together. The two wrong sides will be together. The correct side will be on the outside. I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. It's just a simple solid black knit. And for my serged exposed seams, I'm going to use this brown serger thread. I have two of them in this shade and then two of them in this shade. I had some white already in my serger, so I left some white just to see what it would look like. And I put one of the light brown colors and then I put one of the dark brown colors and then I did a few stitches. One side looks like this and the other side looks like this. I think I'm going to change the white threads and put the browns in and then see how that looks. I have the two dark brown colors on the outside and then the lighter brown colors in the middle. This is how it looks. One side is this way and the other side is that way versus this side where you have one side is brown and white and this side is mostly white. So I think I'm gonna go with the all brown. With wrong sides together, I'm taking the two front pieces and this piece is going to match up to this corner here and I will pin these together. And then this corner here is going to swing around to this side and it's gonna match up there. So I will stitch this whole area together and then that will give me a full front piece once this is all together and then this piece will get sewn to the bottom skirt portion. The two front pieces are together and now I'm going to attach the bottom half of the front to the top half of this section here. The wrong sides are pinned together and then I'm just going to serge. I have the front all put together. I did lengthen the dress by about 10 inches and I cut out a size eight. Here is the back with the center seam surged. So I stitched the front to the back at the shoulder seams and now I'm going to stitch the side together and then this neck edge is just going to be finished with a narrow hem. Once you get to sewing, the dress comes together really quickly. I tried it on and it is too long. I did lengthen it 10 inches. I don't know why I lengthened it so much. The pin marks where I want the hem to begin. So I'm just measuring to see how much that comes to. So that's about six inches that I need to take off. So once I take that off, then the dress will be all finished. Keep on getting much darker. 
you can tuck the exposed seams in and wear the dress on the other side. So this is a dress that you can actually wear two different ways. I'm swimming in the quicksand Up to my knees Keep loose and sleep I'm mad at at midnight I did some baking yesterday. I made an apple pie. This is what's left. And then I actually made a whole chocolate cake, y'all. And here is the chocolate cake. I had a piece yesterday and I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> 